Hey, good morning everybody. It's time to saddle up. We're back in the electrical field today. We are going to be running pipe and we're going to be talking about a three-point saddle. Okay, so this bend helps you uh, miss obstructions. So I got my example right here. I'm going to go over how to make this bend, the math required to make this bend, and then how to uh, arrange your pipe bender so it comes out correctly. So when you bend in a three-point saddle, there's actually three bends to this bend. The first one that you bend is a 45 degree, the second one is a 22 and a half, and then the third one is another 22 and a half, okay? When you are taking your measurements, the first measurement you need to take is the depth of your obstruction, okay? So in this scenario, we're gonna use a two inch obstruction. Once you know the depth of the obstruction, then you can go down to your measurement table and you can use these measurements as a guide to play out your measurements on your pipe. So if you're in our scenario, we have a two inch obstruction. So we have to account for the shrinkage of the pipe because when you make those bends, it's gonna shrink three eighths of an inch, okay? This other measurement here, outside marks from center, okay? So you have a center mark and the center mark would be at your 45 and then you would um, subtract five inches from your center mark and add five inches um, from your center mark to, to line up your 22 and a half degree angles, okay? So in our example today, um, we have the end of our pipe, we have a coupling right here. Our uh, pipe is 18 inches from our two inch obstruction to the center of that obstruction, okay? So for our measurements, our first uh, measurement would be our 45 degree angle. We're gonna mark that at 18 and 3 eighths. Yes, it is 18 inches away, but we have to account for that 3 eighths shrinkage, okay? So we add that 3 eighths to, to our measurement, okay? Now we're gonna subtract five inches from 18 and 3 eighths, and that would give us 13 and 3 eighths for our first 22 and a half. Then we would add five inches for our second 22 and a half, which would give us 23 and 3 eighths, okay? So the main thing you need to know is the obstruction depth, and then you can use this measurement table um, depending on the obstruction depth. And then you can take a measurement for your pipe and that would tell you where to line up your measurements. So I'm gonna show you how to arrange your bender right here. So you're gonna start with your first bend, which is gonna be a 45 degree angle. We measured from left to right here. So our first measurement was 18 and 3 eighths. We are going to use the notch, okay? So right here in, in the middle, the notch, also called the fulcrum, kind of the center of the bend. And like I said, it's gonna be a 45 degree angle, 18 and 3 eighths. Your next bend is your first uh, 22 and a half, and that's gonna be our first one from the way we measured. You are going to use the arrow. So you'll have the bender like this right here. Um, you use the arrow to 22 and a half, and we had to subtract five, which gave us 13 and 3 eighths. And then our last bend is the second uh, 22 and a half, and you are also gonna use the arrow for that one. Your bender will be facing the way you uh, measured again, and um, it'll be at 23 and 3 eighths because we had to add five inches. So when I'm bending a saddle, I like to uh, work with the bender uh, with the butt on the ground and the uh, actual bender up in the air. So I'll start with my first bend, which is my 45 degrees, and I'm gonna use the notch. And I got it lined up, and I'm just gonna bend it right down to that 45 degree is right up or that pipe is right above that 45 degree, okay? And I, if you notice, I have the bender the way I measured from. Next, I'm gonna take my pipe, I'm gonna turn it around the opposite direction, and this time, I'm going to use the arrow, okay? Um, this pipe's a little bit shorter on that end. You know, in, out in the field, sometimes it's, it's a little bit longer, which makes it easier, but you want to line up your pipe with the bender and make sure it's straight up and down, okay? So that pipe, that first bend should be running straight um, with the bender, okay? And then you're gonna bend your next bend, which is a 22 and a half, and that's gonna be on the arrow. So it's gonna take a little bit of muscle here. Okay, so there's my second bend. And then I'm gonna do that one more time. I gotta bend my last 22 and a half, okay? And I'm gonna turn my pipe around again Okay, and I'm going to um, have it have the bender facing the way I measured from. Okay, and you are going to do the same thing. You're going to look down that pipe, 
make sure it's good and straight with a bender okay and then you're going to bend that last bend which will also be a 22 and a half and it's going to be on the arrow so double check here all right bend it down to a 22 and a half okay and that's what you should end up with so pipe bending is uh it, it can be uh, challenging sometimes because you might put a little too much bend in one bend or the other um, I've noticed I got a little too much bend in this one, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit out. You know, I'm probably just two or three degrees off, so I'm going to flip my pipe over, okay, and I'm just going to take a little bit out, um, just make sure it's good and lined up straight, and I'm going to take a little bit out, and like I said, it's probably only two to three degrees, and then you can check that again to make sure that um, you are on. You don't want that pipe kicked up off of that surface, because if it is, then you will um, then it'll push against that strap and over time it'll work its way off. All right, so here's our finished product. As you can see, um, it's exactly two inches off of the wall. Um, it's a little more than we needed since this is an inch pipe and it's about you know roughly an inch and a half. Um, but it gives us that extra clearance and the degrees of the bends are the same whether you know if you're going up one inch two inches or three inches um, for my measurement you know it was supposed to be 18 inches from the center of this pipe to um, to the end of our coupling um, looks like I'm I might be about a, a 16th off or so um, which is very acceptable in pipe bending so um, that's your that's what your finished product is going